Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead and Dead City. We're going to be taking a look at some brand new preview photos for Dead City. We're also going to be talking about the trailer, and we're mostly going to be talking about a major, major interview from Lenny James from CBR, where he confirms that Season 8 of Fear of the Walking Dead will mark the 13-year and final year for Morgan Jones in the Walking Dead franchise. Your parents, they could still be out there. Our parents abandoned us. Nowhere to go, Morgan. Why are you really here? All right, guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead. We're going to talk about Fear of the Walking Dead, and we're also going to talk about some Dead City stuff. Um, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover for today. If you didn't see some of the videos we did yesterday, we did the review for Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, Season 8, Episode 1. That was the day before that. We did the predictions video for the next few episodes of Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 8, uh, breaking down the this season promo and all that cool stuff, doing some predictions. Uh, we also did a, a Dead City trailer reaction video yesterday, as well as a trailer break down so all of those videos are in the channel right now and go ahead and check those out and uh, I appreciate all the support on those videos as well uh, because um I know a lot of people enjoyed those uh, those Dead City videos and uh, Fear the Walking Dead stuff. It's all been fantastic, man. Dead City released a killer trailer yesterday, and Fear the Walking Dead released an absolutely incredible premiere, so I'm very, very happy with uh, all the Walking Dead content this week. Keep it up, Walking Dead. Seriously, you guys did really good. Um, and I'm saying that because the franchise has really suffered lately, and I feel like this week we've had nothing but just greatness so keep it up um but anyway so let's talk about uh we'll talk about dead city first and then we'll get into the major news for fear of the walking dead because that's going to be a major one to talk about uh dead city of course released its trailer yesterday um Again, fantastic trailer. Love the vibe. Love the the visual aspect of the show. Uh, I think overall this show is just going to be fantastic. I mean, I, I think the trailer just solidified that not only we, do we only have like a month left, but this is going to be a great six episodes. I can already tell. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of cool new variants in the trailer. And, yeah, it's just it was really, really cool. Um, but we did get a few new preview photos. Um, nothing major, though, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, they're still brand new either way. Um we got a few of Negan and Maggie kind of like in the city, you know, kind of making their way through and stuff like that. Uh, you've got one of Isaac who's like kind of behind this like hotel or whatever. Um, and he's, you know, on the run. He's on the search for Negan, right? And you've also got one of Maggie right here with like a match and she's like uh, lighting it up and stuff like that uh, in the city, right? Um and it looks like a lot of these are like kind of night shots. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, very much excited for Dead City. Again, the trailer just absolutely blew me away yesterday. But if you want to see more stuff on that, uh, definitely uh, check out the uh, breakdown video and stuff like that. We'll probably have a few more discussion topic videos coming for that though. So uh, definitely, uh, you know, that'll uh, that'll be coming in the next few days. But anyway, um, let's talk about Fear of the Walking Dead because you guys have been messaging me about this one. I really, really didn't want to do, uh, do this video. I, I really didn't. But um, it is something that we have to acknowledge. It's something that we have to talk about and uh, let's just kind of say it well it sounds like Lenny James has pretty much confirmed yesterday that season 8 of Fear the Walking Dead will be his end for the Morgan Jones character um it sounds like he was interviewed yesterday by CBR. I, I don't even know who the hell they are, but it sounds like they were asking him um, about Morgan's character and about you know his his journey in the Walking Dead franchise. And he confirmed that this will be the the retirement is how he put it, his retirement of the Morgan Jones character after 13 years. Um, and uh, yeah, he said that that is basically it. That's that's it for Morgan. He's enjoyed, you know, playing his character. Apparently, this is something that he's been considering for a couple years, according to what I was reading. But he decided to kind of keep going for a little while longer, and uh, he now feels like it's a good idea to uh, kind of wrap it up. Which um, I fully believe him in that too, because I remember at the end of season five, if you're The Walking Dead, one of the reasons why they had him bleeding out at the end of that season is because they weren't sure if Lenny James wanted to come back, and it's kind of crummy because. Because Garrett Dillahunt, the actor that played John, um, begged him to stay for season six. And then he wanted out in season six and they killed him off. So, you know, they kind of screwed him over. But anyway, Lenny stayed for Fear Season 6. He stayed for Fear Season 7. And finally in season eight, it sounds like he's just saying like, you know... I'm done. Uh, that's the end of Morgan. That's all I'm going to do. And uh, that that's just going to be it. And you know what really worries me, guys? And honestly, this is something that... Um, 
is kind of scary, to be honest, is that the mid-season finale, as you guys know, episode 6, is called All I See is Red, and I haven't heard a damn thing from Lenny in terms of filming anything for 8B. Um, so are they going to have him exit the story, like, midways through season 8, or is he going to be in the second half? Like, I, I really don't know, but, um, you know, is his wrap-up coming in, like, a few weeks, guys? Like, is that why he's going back to King County and, you know, some of these old locations? I mean, it's starting to add up, to be honest, guys. It really is. Um, but I guess really the most important thing I should say here is that if this is the end for Morgan, because again, sometimes actors say they're done and then they come back and they reprise their role, which, you know, I really hope for because honestly, I'm really going to have a hard time accepting that Morgan Jones is gone and that he's never going to see Rick again. That's something that I just can't it doesn't sit right with me. Um, Morgan not seeing Rick again is something that must happen. Um, and I, I really hope it still does somehow. I hope they can convince him to come back or something along those lines. Um, but for sure, it's not going to happen anytime soon, you know. And a Morgan and Rick reunion, guys, I'm really starting to put my, my hopes low for because... It sounds like Lenny has already been contemplating leaving for a long time. He's been contemplating leaving this franchise for a long, long time. So... You know, again, he's done 13 years as Morgan. He's done a lot of time. And I think that's the most important thing to kind of uh, acknowledge here. You know, for everybody that hates on Morgan, whatever, I, I don't understand why, but whatever. Um, but Morgan fans, I know they're very few and far between. Unfortunately, uh, you guys know Morgan is my second favorite character in this franchise behind Rick. Um, to me, Morgan and Rick are what made The Walking Dead so good. I mean, they are why we are here right now is because of the guy that saved Rick in the, the pilot, you know, and Rick himself, you know, of course, evolving and we follow his story, you know, those two characters is why we have a franchise right now, you know, and without Rick and Morgan, you do not have a franchise, you do not have the Walking Dead, you know, universe. And to be saying goodbye to one of those characters, you know, a lot of people probably look at this news and I, unfortunately, I see this all the time. Hell, I've already seen it based off of the last 24 hours. Um, a lot of people are hearing this news and they're like, great, I'm glad that idiot's gone. I'm glad that Morgan idiot's out of here. And I'm like, man, I'm sad. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm sad, man. I love Morgan and I love uh, Lenny James. And honestly, for anybody that supports Morgan, if there's anybody out there that still supports the Morgan character... Please show him some love in the comments section. Honestly, if you're a fan of Morgan, like I am, if you enjoy his character, if you're sad that he's leaving this franchise, please let me see it. Defend my, my boy Morgan here in the comments section below because everywhere I go, it's like, oh, I'm glad this idiot's gone. Oh, I'm glad this moron's off the show. Like, it's ridiculous. So somebody, please give him some credit. You know, he has been here for 13 years. He's done this for 13 years. And people just crap all over him just because a few random fear episodes with him aren't that good, you know? Um, you've got a brilliant actor. You've got a brilliant journey for his character. A great story. It's still great, if you ask me. Uh, and, yeah, I, I really don't understand what the, what the hate is for Morgan. I really don't. So, yeah, show him some love and support. Show the character love and support. In particular, if this is truly the end of Morgan, if this is the end of his character, um... Show them some love and support. But here is my big thing I demand from them in Fear the Walking Dead. If you kill Morgan, and I don't care if the actor wants to leave and he's quote-unquote retiring from the character, do not kill Morgan off. In particular because we already know that Grace is probably dead based off of the trailer, you know? So if Grace is dead and then they kill Morgan a few episodes later... No, that is going to be absolutely ridiculous. You keep that character alive. You do not kill Morgan Jones off. I will lose my crap if I see Morgan Jones die in a few weeks from now, you know, because I truly do believe that I feel like he's going to exit before uh, 8 day is done. I really do because I haven't heard anything about Morgan in the second half. Nothing. So, yeah, it, it's definitely a very nerve wracking time for the character. I'm going to be honest. Um... I hope that he survives. He better survive. Fear the Walking Dead. If you kill Morgan Jones off just because Lenny wants out, oh my God, I'm not going to like that. Here's the thing. Even if Lenny James never comes back, even if this is the end of him and he doesn't change his mind ever, you know, um, let him live. Let him stay alive. Let him grow old, you know, let him grow uh, old and have Mo get older and stuff like that. Like, don't be killing Morgan Jones off. That's the big thing that I would say. 
do not kill him off because what if Lenny James gets bored in a few years and, you know, they're trying to do this big crossover event with the Walking Dead franchise? What if they call up Lenny and it's like, oh, no, can't come back. You killed me off. See ya. You know, like, no, you got to keep him alive because even if this is the end for Lenny James, even if Lenny James has had enough of this crap, which honestly, based off of the recent few seasons of Fear of the Walking Dead, I can kind of understand why he wants to be off the show. But here's the thing. Keep him alive because you never know. You know, he could call you up in a few years from now and be like, oh, you guys are doing a big crossover with all the Walking Dead universe characters in one? Oh, I'll come back for that. Sure, why not? You know, shows back up with an older Mo. I mean, seriously, you'd be wasting an opportunity there. So in my opinion, keep him alive. That's all I'm going to really say about the matter. You kill Morgan Jones off. I don't care if the actor's gone. That is going to be absolutely pathetic, you know? Um... You know, and I don't want Mo to be an orphan. I don't want, you know, all this stuff. I just, no, it, it would be an awful idea. So Lenny James saying that does really scare me for the future of his character. I'm not going to lie. Um, but just keep him alive and let Lenny, you know, leave the franchise. Do not kill him off. And even though I'll be disappointed that we don't potentially get a Rick and Morgan reunion, um, at least they didn't kill him off. You know what I mean? But if they kill him off, yeah, that'll be the biggest joke in the world. So Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. What are you guys expecting for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 8? Are you sad that Lenny James is leaving the franchise? Um, for good, it sounds like, uh, at least pretty much. Um, and what do you guys think about the new Dead City trailer, the new photos, and all that cool stuff? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. So anyway, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for The Walking Dead franchise. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.